After numerous Kirim raids, Abomniso raids, and even Timber raids, I finally leveled up to level 39. And Niantic gave me a little bit of a reward for doing this. I ended up getting a shiny coffin. This completed my family of shinies for them. I have the shiny coffin and then the shadow shiny wheezing. But guys, I also caught a shiny. It's probably one of the most sought out shinies uh, in Jake's book. I caught a shiny Jigglypuff. This is like the third shiny I've robbed. The Dust Skull, what else? The Low Ted. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's crazy, guys. She gets all the ones that I want. It's so funny. So right before Community Day weekend, Niantic decided to launch a special Whooper event. So this also introduced Shiny Whooper to Pokemon Go. He's pink. He's I didn't get a Whooper Shiny, sadly. Yeah, after like 100 Whoopers, <laughs> I still haven't caught a Shiny of the Whooper. And speaking of the Whooper went, after a long night, uh, Jake and I decided to trade all the Whoopers we caught. And I think it was, again, one of the last trades. We ended up getting a lucky Whooper. Yeah, I think it was the last trade. And mine was like a 96%. He was pretty good. I haven't maxed him out yet or anything like that. Uh, how was yours? He was decent, three star. I went ahead and evolved him. But in addition to the Whooper being introduced, Niantic also helped us out. So any shadow Pokemon you have, you were able to teach a new charge TM. So they would forget frustration and you could, with an elite charge TM, teach him a new move. So mm -hmm. I taught my shadow Mewtwo, Psyshock. And I taught my Hypno, I taught him Psyshock as well, and then I taught him a new move. I'm a little low on candies, but I'm hoping to get him to the Great League shortly. So earlier in the week, I opened the mystery box again after transporting, I think it was a shiny Magikarp to Pokemon Home, but I gathered enough Melton candies to evolve my Melton again. This time I evolved one of the shinies that I got, so now I have the complete family of shiny Meltons as well. But <laughs> I think it was yesterday we saw Cub Chew outside and we both caught him and he was perfect. Do you want to tell? Perfect in the sense that he was the perfect zero star you could get. <laughs> zero attack, zero defense, zero HP. It was, was awesome. Like, it was like, he's a Nundo guy. <laughs> yeah, Nundo. So that was great. That was a pretty funny way to like end the night. So the community day actually launched today at 6 a.m. this morning, and it's going up until 10 p.m. Sunday night. But the ticket will take place and start at 11 to 5, the normal community okay. day hours for both days. But again, we kind of launched it this morning at 6, running up until tomorrow night at 10. And so in preparation for this, I managed to get three 12k eggs, and I think it's around like 4,000 XP you get for when you're hatching it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pop a lucky egg and get around 8,000 XP for hatching it. It's a quarter hatch distance, so make sure you save up those uh, long KM eggs so that you can get some XP out of it like that, you know? But also, again, the two kilometer green eggs, you'll be hatching uh, different Pokemon rather than the ones you'll see in the wild. So there is a chance you'll get a shiny in the green eggs. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take that approach versus Jake's approach of just collecting all the 12K and 7K. Well, I'm gonna hatch those higher ones quick in the morning and then go and head over to the green ones. I'm gonna use my free uh, incubators to hatch the, the 2K ones, but for the longer ones, I'll put them in like my super incubators and stuff like that. I don't wanna waste the super incubators like I did during the Electabuzz community day. But guys, we are so excited to start this day. We cannot wait. Well, one of us reached the 40 level milestone. <laughs> I don't know, it's a lot going on today, so stay tuned. Community Day is off to a good start. So we are in our first ever Reggie Rock 5 Star Raid Battle. 
Yeah, we must have missed that uh, memo that went out about uh, the new five-star raids, but pretty excited about it. Looking forward to get our shinies today. Um, again, we are overwhelmed with all the different types of Pokemon spawning right now. It is literally absurd. Yeah, and people are active today. We got 11 people in this raid with us right now, so looking forward to do that. We're going to crush this guy, and we'll come back hopefully with some shiny luck. First shiny of the day, we're 14 minutes in and just caught Abra. Maria just got a shiny Rhyhorn Spine. He's one of the most shinies I've been looking for and he is the first shiny I caught for today. Let's see what he is. He's a weak <laughs> zero, zero star, star. <laughs> but guys, shiny Rhyhorn, let us get this day going. I just caught a shiny C dot and Maria. I've caught a shiny Ghastly and just like Jake, I caught a shiny Abra. So 30 minutes in, we're off to an amazing start. We've been cranking out a lot of the uh, Reggie Rock raids, but our primary goal for today is to get as many shinies today. Yeah, still looking for that Piplop though. <laughs> And again, another shiny that Jake wants to <laughs> add to his shiny collection. I just caught the shiny Piplup. For some reason, I thought he was pink, but I mean, he's just a he's a cute ice blue. teal color. Yeah. Oh my god, he's so adorable. And just like that, Jake caught his shiny Piplup. And we caught shiny matching Weedles a minute ago. So I think we're getting a pretty broad spectrum of different shinies, which is awesome. This is a great community day so far. All right, guys, so we have our special community day research part one done. You get Pokeballs, uh, berries, XP, and then a combination of a few things, some berries, some stone, and some stardust. Maria has this done as well. So then you get the professor talking to you, all this happening right now. And then part two, you gotta catch sea dots, weedles, ghastlies, you get incense, puffin, stardust, but I also have the timed research done as well. And this you get pokeballs, great balls, ultra balls, and then you get XP, own Elite Charge TM, and 25 additional Pokeballs. And that's all for the timed research. But we're going to finish through part two, three, and four of the community day. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, we just finished our little lunch break and we're back to the grind. We were able to complete the second part of the December community day. And so the rewards are Ultra Ball, XP, Stardust, and then the main ones, we get Incense, Puffin, and more Stardust. Skipping through what the professor says. Alright, our next task is to catch Magikarp, Porygon, and Charmander. Ooh. We haven't really been seeing a lot of Charmanders. I think I've caught two so far and then I haven't caught any Porygons yet today so this is going to be a little bit tougher mm -hmm. but we'll take you through it don't worry. Guys I don't know if it's like a glitch going on in Pokemon Go before the last research. We cannot find any of these Magikarps, Porygons, or Charmanders. We've been at this for like the last, what, two, three hours now, and I've caught two Magikarps and one Porygon out of the 15, 15, and 15. I feel like this is going to be the first Community Day research we haven't completed all the way through. But we're going to keep trying. Guys, I just caught a shiny Abra, that's my third one. I can complete the family now. And then right after, Pipla. And this happened earlier to Maria as well, but the file on the GoPro was actually corrupted. 
but this is our second time catching two shinies in a row. This is crazy. So the footage that we recorded earlier on the GoPro that did not save correctly was me catching three back-to-back -back shinies and unfortunately that file was not saved. Guys, as I mentioned earlier, I was not able to record footage of me getting three shinies back-to-back -back just because the GoPro happened to, uh, for some reason, glitch on us. So when we looked back to see how that video turned out, it did not record the entire thing. five Pokemon community ticket event uh, again the Pokemon Go community is still gonna happen you'll still be seeing Piplop spawn you'll still be seeing uh, Porygons, Porygons Charmanders. Charmanders so we were really worried about being able to do the research but it looks like it carries on until tonight or possibly tomorrow um, so we should be able to crank this out we've gotten a few Charmanders Porygons and Magikarps um, but Maria was able to get all three of the Rhydon family, and she's going through, and oh my gosh, he's yellow. So this is the Rhyperior shiny version. I was able to complete the shiny family of them. I also did the shiny family of Abra. Um, the final form was, like, super cool. He had, like, the pink shirt on, but... In addition to that, I did the full set of Weedles, um, and I also have the Pitplops, and I'm about to do that now. To tally up how many Shinies I caught today, 26 Shinies from wow. today's event. Uh, That's just from today, guys. I'm excited for what tomorrow is going to bring us. And I got 18, so not quite as good, but... I mean, yeah, look at this Alakazam. His little pink shirt is pretty funny, but I have uh, the evolution going through. But here is Piplop. Let's go through him. Going through the first evolution. And guys, we are exhausted. We literally played a lot today. We walked a lot. Oh, yeah. We, I think we grinded a lot today compared to any other community just because of you know there was more pokemon that were spawning that you had a bigger chance of getting shinies we also grinded uh, a couple of two kilometer green eggs again we really didn't focus on the green eggs just because we were more uh trying to get like the pipla or the pokemon from past community days that we hadn't had a chance to catch Yep, and here he is, the final form, and I'll go ahead and evolve one of the other shinies so I have the full family done. Um, but yeah, this was a great community day. It was a lot of fun. What do you think about the eggs that you had? The 2K eggs and stuff going on? Like, personally, I was a fan of the Bagon, I think, um, but... The Stackhoths you also got. Mm, um, yeah. But that's pretty much it, guys. So We hatched quite a bit of eggs, and we didn't get that much. I think I got a 98% IV slack-off and bag-on, so I'm pretty happy about that. But no shinies uh, from the eggs. Yeah, so maybe tomorrow we can hatch a shiny. Guys, we just finished evolving up some of the shiny families. For a lot of them, this was actually my first time seeing like each shiny in the different parts of evolution. So that was really cool. Um, and we also were able to enter new Pokemon evolutions into the Pokedex. Yeah. So again, that gave us uh, more XP than usual. Again, we were excited for today. Um, we hope tomorrow treats us just as well as today did and again thank you to those that like and subscribe to our video and tune in tomorrow guys i kid you not after the whole day trying to finish the community day research i was finally able to finish it so you got pineapple the stone some kind of tm 
was it the fast TM? Nice. Um, can I just say, finding these Charmanders in the wild was a total, total bore. Like it literally took me hours to find the fifteen Charmander needed. Multiple to insects, this research. like everything like that. Um, and now what? You have a whole new research. Let's see, please. I I want this to be one of those fast. Oh my god. Electabuzz, Magmar, and just 15 Pokemon in general. Just when you thought you were done, <laughs> you have to catch 40, 45. <laughs> so oh. there it is. We're on part four and four now. But. Oh man, this literally has been taking us all day. It, again, Charmander, it was like rare. Like, mm -hmm. literally. I was about to just call it quits, but <laughs> she toughed it out. Yeah. So stay tuned to see if we complete this. It is Sunday. It is day two of the community day weekend. And Jake and I, we've talked about this. We're not going to grind as much today as we did yesterday, just because we started playing Pokemon Go earlier this year and we've already participated in the past community days leading up to today so we're not going to grind as much today but yeah we are looking forward to catching more of the shinies that we do have yep i'll probably be transferring some of them to like pokemon home and stuff but i mean it's a really nice day out i don't know i might have to take this jacket off because it is very sunny the very nice bright. it's shining on us because we're wearing black <laughs> but Let's get this day started. Right now you're probably experiencing one of the Reggie legends happening out in the five star raids. And that's Reggie Rock. He is for this weekend, the 12th to the 13th. Hopefully you guys get a shiny. Uh, we haven't been grinding as much, but we're trying to do that today as well. And then coming up next weekend is going to be Reggie Steel. This is probably the Pokemon we're looking most forward to. He's good in the Great Leagues and the just Battle Leagues in general. And then he has a really cool shiny accompanied with him. Once the weekend comes up leading up to Reggie Steel, we'll get more in depth into what to uh, best put in your Pokemon lineup to um, defeat them. Also, the last Reggie legend will be Reggie Ice, and he will be appearing December 26th through December 27th. And what's going to be good against all these people is pretty much like uh, fighting moves. Because you got the rock, you got the steel, and you got the ice, so start powering up your fighting people. First shiny of the day. So I hopped into a cliff battle, just defeated him. Wait for it. Is Omnimite gonna be a shiny? But we have the fourth part of the December Community Day research done. Um, I took one of the rewards last night, which was a TM, uh, because I didn't think it was gonna carry through today, but it did, and I have it completed now. You get a stone, stone and uh three rare candies xp and stardust and then that's that that's the special research right there nothing else to it so is that it for both community days like that's just all the research like it looks like it and my complaint about the research is like the community day research is like looking back reflecting back onto like maybe the electabuzz and stuff like that you my first electabuzz shiny was from the research and for in this one, I didn't get any Pokemon out of the research or anything like that. So I was a little disappointed. But yeah, that's that. And what's your guys' IVs? Yeah, so my Omnimite was a three-star shadow. So if you purify him, I, I bet he'll be a four. If I purify him, he's probably will be like a good higher IV three-star. But I'm again a trick I'm doing is I'm saving all these shadow Pokemon. So once we hit like level 41 or level 42, there's like a certain requirement that you have to purify a number of shadows. Yeah. So Make I'm sure saving, you save yeah, I'm saving all these shadows. Just a little tip for you guys. Also, as you guys saw earlier, Jay caught his first shiny, which was a Magmar. But besides that, guys, we're like 
an hour 20 into this one and that was the first yeah. shiny we got this I, is crazy i, I think my incense popped and everything i think like, the took overheard us saying that we weren't going to grind as much today so they're like all right we won't give you guys any shinies yeah for real we were just complaining about how we haven't got a second shiny yet and i just got my shiny electabuzz so we're two shinies in now we'll keep you posted now we are three shinies in. Here is the shiny Charmander. Look at that gold boy. Maria had a lot of luck yesterday. Got way more shinies than me, but- And I'm not having any luck, guys. I know, I might catch up, guys. This is my chance. We're on the lookout for these last two shinies. We're looking for a Magikarp and a Porygon. Again, no shiny luck for me. It's been almost two hours into this <laughs> event. Oh my goodness. Niantic, I'm sorry I bashed you earlier. I said I wasn't gonna grind but I'm kind of getting, I'm getting left down because I'm not getting any shiny. <laughs> but um, guys, in addition to like all the community days and all the different events going on in December and early 2021. As if December couldn't get any better, Niantic announced there's gonna be a special research event featuring Galarian Mr. Mime. And he looks pretty cool. So he looks, it's an ice form. I don't know yeah. if it's gonna be ice and fair or just ice. But starting December 18th, next Friday from 8 a.m. to Monday, d December 21st, again, 8, that 8 p.m. local time, you will be featuring and getting a lot of Jinx, Swine Up, Spoink, Woobats, Cup Chews. They'll be increasingly be attracted to the incense. So, and then in addition to that, so Cub Chew can be shiny. And he's pretty cool, like purplish pink head shiny pretty neat I, i'm really looking forward to that how so, much is the ticket so the ticket is going to be 7.99 oof to be um, they're just getting a money left and right be huh? able to participate in this special event again we don't know if the shiny cup two is going to be guaranteed if you buy that ticket but we hope so yeah i'm really looking forward to that cup two and then mr mine would be nice to enter into the pokedex Galarian Mr. Mime. Yeah. Guys, I had been catching every single Magikarp that spawned and giving it a Pineapple Berry because Gyarado evolving a Gyarados is like so expensive candy-wise. So just in preparation for that, and I clicked in on a shiny. So Maria still hasn't had much luck, but we're going to be grinding this. Again, we already have a lot of these shinies, so... We're not going to be going too hard. We're just going through and cycling, getting some of them and just playing. My eggs are hatching right now. So if let's see if we get anything special from this. I'm hoping we get at least one shiny. We get a Torchic out of one, not a shiny. Again, I'm sorry Niantic for talking so much trash earlier. <laughs> but again, I'm not really pressed if I don't get a shiny today. Honestly, I have like a plethora of all these shinies from past community day events really what i'm doing is just grinding to um hit that level 40 popping eggs and star pieces yeah second egg was a trap pinch so again nothing to like brag about there or anything so i'll just keep going through these eggs see if we get anything uh shiny or any like notable things but if not hopefully the next clip will be a shiny porygon so literally two hours in Caught my first shiny of the day, shiny Magmar. Um, again, we're still trying to just get one shiny of each of the Pokemon spawning today. We need that Porygon. So Jake just needs that last shiny Porygon and he'll be done. Um, I still have a few more Pokemons to go to catch up to him. But yeah guys, first shiny of the day and two hours in. Guys, we finally got the last one, shiny Porygon right here. We're about to head home and have lunch now. Four hours in. It's guys, it's almost 3 p.m. And Jake just finally completed all the shinies that are possible for today. I still have that one shiny Magmar. Guys, so Jake and I just came back from a long walk today. Again, we didn't grind as many uh shinies today but speaking of shinies 
I yeah, caught look at that. A shiny red G Rock. Um, really happy about this. I think this is like a reward for me not getting as many shinies today. Um, to tally up, I think I only got two shinies the whole uh, time we were out. 28 shinies in total. And I got a total of 27. So, like, yesterday was our probably best community day. Such a variety of Pokemon spawning and shinies we could have got. And then this kind of was just the cherry on top. Um, probably my favorite shiny caught in the last two days would be the shiny Charmander. And it's just because he's gold, and then evolving him up to the black Charizard is just pretty sick. What about you? What's your favorite? Uh, the fa my favorite shiny out of all the whole weekend is clearly the Reggie Rock. But oh, out of wow. like the community day, it was definitely the Rhyhorn. The like brownish orange color just attracted me to it. And then it like evolves into like a lime yellowish color. So I was yeah. really happy. I was able to complete the family of Rhyhorns. And guys, I just caught my first mythical shiny. Yeah, of all that's the awesome. Um, so guys, we're gonna go ahead right now and we're gonna be trading um, Maria's shiny Jigglypuff for my shiny Absol. Absol is one of Maria's favorite Pokemon out there. So she's really excited to get this uh, Absol. She's been begging for it ever since I got it. And I really want that Jigglypuff. So, you so know, I'm about to give it. So we'll here it is. In, guys. 40,000 Stardust. Oof. It's a lot out of all the Stardust I collected over the weekend. I know, but think, what if it's a lucky? Yeah, we haven't gotten a lucky trade in a while, so hopefully these two shinies will be lucky. And... Oh my gosh. No. Not a lucky, but still, I'm very happy to have this oh. shiny Jigglypuff. Two star, not bad. And let's see my IVs. I'm a one star, <laughs> but that's okay. Nice way to end the video. Um, Again, guys, thank you so much for sticking with us all weekend. We were happy to go out and get as many shinies and new shinies that we entered into the Pokédex. We're a very cool weekend, all the varieties and stuff spawning. So thanks for liking, subscribing, and sticking with us throughout the whole video. Leave a comment. Let us know what was your favorite shiny of the whole weekend.